So Jesus said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water. And keep in mind, the storm is still breaking out. The wind is still blowing. The boat is still rocking. The waves are still coming at that boat like crazy. But Peter is so focused on the word of God. Peter is so focused on Christ. Can you picture that? He's, he's getting out of the boat and he begins to walk on the water. But through, through this whole time, his focus is on Christ. And he's taking that step. Every step, his focus is he's not taking his eyes off of Jesus. He's just locked on the Lord. And he's taking each step on the surface of that water. A miracle is taking place. He's walking in a miracle, right? Do you see that? So just keep that in mind. The storm is still going on. Peter is walking to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, the wind was already there. But because Peter was so focused on the Lord, he didn't see the wind. See, when we're so focused on the Lord, we're not, we're not looking at what's happening. We're not looking at the opposition. We're not looking at what the enemy is doing to us. We're not looking at all those things, right? Our focus is on so tight on Christ that we're not being moved away from the hope of the gospel. Our hope is built upon the solid rock of Christ. When we are that focused, we are not moved by nothing. Nothing is moving us away from the hope of Christ. Nothing. When Paul was on his way to Jerusalem, he said, Bonds and afflictions are, oh, are there. They're waiting on me. I'm about to walk into some serious tribulation and trials and afflictions. Paul knew before going to Jerusalem. But you know what Paul said? He said, but none of these things move me. Nor do I count my life dear to myself. Paul was so focused on Christ that he knew the situation was going to get tough. Tough as he went to Jerusalem. He knew that he was going to be afflicted. He knew that bonds were awaiting him. I mean, everything was getting ready to come at him. But he said, I'm not going to be moved by none of it. Why did he say that? Because his focus was so tight on Christ. 